Hey guys, so today I will be doing a basic tutorial on how to make your own Beyblade on Tinkercad. So let's get started. So first let's enter my Tinkercad file for the templates I use. And these were made by Crazy Aries. So first hold left click, drag it across, let go. And you can see that all of these are highlighted. And now let's click over here on copy. Let's go back to the home page. Click new 3D design. And if you click on here, you can name it whatever you want. So let's name it Beyblade Demo. Over here, we can paste it. So everything you copied will be pasted. And here are the basic things of Tinkercad. So on the right over here, we have the basic shapes that you can use. So most beginners like to start out with the scribble tool, which I did. When I started out, I used this, but it quickly has some downsides, but it also has some upside. So you can make whatever shape you want. And then once you're done with it, you can hit done. But the downside to this is that since I am on a computer right now, so I'm using a mouse drawing this, it the, the edges can be very rigid and not smooth. So if you print it, it, it won't be very smooth. And it may uh, cut your hand, but that's very unlikely. But still, it is very rigid and Personally, I don't use it anymore. So what I do is um, I usually get a cylinder or a box. You could you can change the number of sides on the cylinder. I usually go to the max, which is 64, so it is smooth around the edge. You can drag holes out and you can turn any shape from a solid to a hole. So you can turn this roof to a hole or it's solid and anything. So over here, this little arrow side to side, you can rotate it to a certain amount of degrees. Let's say rotate it like this, place it here. Now this gray area that is overlapping with this red air box, is the area that is going to be omitted or deleted if you group these two, since this is a whole. So how you group it is you click on one object, left click, hold shift, click on another object that you want to group it with, click on this icon on the UI that says group, group it, and it will now have a slant here. Now, if you don't want a straight slant, you can do a curved slant. Now, one way to do a curved slant is you get a tube, which you have to scroll down to see on the basic shapes UI. Turn the sides to 64, get a hold box, group these two together. Again, shift, left click, group. Make this taller so it will reach the top of the box. Since the tubes are usually shorter than the boxes when you first make them, you can adjust the size by moving it left, right to make it longer or shorter, up, down to make it wider, or you could do this to make it taller or shorter. You can also lift this up by using this cone shaped thing on top of the shape. Now you can rotate it to do this. Turn this into a hole. Now you can see that part of this box is not overlapping with this. So we will move it a bit to make it like that. Adjust the height and width to your liking. And then you can group these two together. And boom, you have a curve like that. So a lot of designs are Tinkercad is 
just building on top of basic shapes like a triangle, a box, or a cylinder. Eventually, it will be more and more complex, and then it will look more detailed and better. So now I will show you guys how to center things. So let's say you wanted to center this cylinder with this template. So you select both things, go to these two box-like icons here, align, center, and center to make it cent uh, centralized. And yeah, that's how you center something. Now, if you want to mirror an object, let's say you have another one of these, you can copy and paste it. And you don't want it facing this way, but you want the slant facing that way. So click on this mirror and flip it like this. So we have this mirror like image here. So, and if you don't want this at all, or you're having trouble seeing some things below this, like let's say this is below here, and you don't know the exact shape of this, you can click on this light bulb like thing next to it, that will make it hide. And if you want it to reappear again, you can use this here. Um, so let's get, so I will be doing a demo on how to make a Beyblade on Tinkercad now for this video. And it's going to be pretty basic, but this is how things are going to start out. So let's get started. Let's delete some of these objects. And then we can ungroup something too if we want to make it different. Let's shorten the height a bit. Angle it a bit more. Group. And now we have a nice clean cut here. Now we don't want, the, I don't want this blocky edge here, so I'm going to insert another hole box and cut it off like this. Now sometimes if it says that message, it helps to reload the page. So let's see if that works. And just like that, it works. So we can adjust the size and then we can add a curved back end to the shape, group it, and now we have a shape like this. Angle it the way we want, and now let's copy and paste it onto the other side mirror so we make it symmetrical looking in one fluid direction and then hit these two group and let's centralize both of these so align center and center now, if you click on here, this button is to duplicate, so it won't, it will automatically copy and paste it in this exact same place that this shape is in right now. So if I click on it and I move this out of the way, you can see there's another one underneath it. So let's rotate it 90 degrees to make it a four bladed Beyblade and if you want to get a symmetrical design with a certain number of blades all you have to do is divide 360 which is the full angle of a circle by the number of blades you want it to have so in this case I did 360 divided by 4 which equals 90 and I rotated it 90 degrees to get 
four equally separated blades. So now let's get another shape. You can get a triangle, rotate it, lift it to make sure it's above the ground. Once it says zero, it is touching the ground. So do this, adjust the size you want it to be. And then now we can copy and paste it. A line it is already centralized, so that's good. Now you can make it shorter. And then you can adjust the height so it overlaps with this green triangle group. And now we have some detail in this triangle. So let's rotate it to fit the blade. Adjust the size a bit. Mirror it. And let's see, rotate it. And if you want to, you can also input some numbers. So let's say if I wanted to be exactly 7.11 millimeters, I can. And I recommend designing Beyblades in millimeters because it is more precise than inches, but that's just a personal preference. So let's copy and paste it onto the other side here. Mirror. So we make it symmetrical and look. Move it how you want to. And you can always, if you're not sure if things are overlapping or not, you can always turn it into a hole. And if it's shaded by gray, that means it is overlapping. Let's turn these four blades into different colors so it's easier to distinct from the template. And then let's group these together, duplicate them in place, rotate it 90 degrees again. So we could also input this number 90 degrees. There you go. And let's add, we could group these together. There's, I think they're sticking out a bit too much. So let's make it a bit smaller. 56 by 56. Hold left click and drag all the way across to select all of them. Centralize and centralize. And then lower the height like so. A bit too short, so let's put it at nine. And then get one more shape in. So for this one, I'll use a circle. And then we could, we can lower the height and get a circle hole. Get it to the max so it's smoother. Align it centrally. Make it a square like shape and group these all together. And then I group it again and you get this shape that's like Judgment Joker with the curved recoil point here. So Let's adjust the size to make it fit. Rotate it like so, to your liking. And then just the size a little bit more. Lower the height so it's easier to see. Copy and paste. Mirror image to make it symmetrical. Group, centralize everything just to make sure. And then now we can duplicate 
Um, based on my preference, I like this only two sides, but I will adjust this once again. My liking. I didn't like that so much, so I'm going to go press undo. And then select the outer shapes group. And then you can choose if you want it to be multicolor or not. And then now make sure everything is centralized and we run into a problem here so some of these shapes are overlapping where the dynamite battle core will be placed so it cannot be assembled so what we do or what i do is that i look at the template size 48 by 48. so let's get a cylinder put it to max sides and let's choose a number that's close to 48 but not as close to 47.5 47.5 and we centralize all of these and then group these together and as you can see they are no longer overlapping the part where the dynamite battle core is so now we can rotate this to how you like and there you go here is the tutorial on how to make the dynamite battle blade and the basics of Tinkercad. So this is just a basic design, so it's not super detailed. And I suggest designing more and more Beyblades if you want to get better. It just gets a while to get used to, but eventually um, you will. Uh, these are a bit too tall, so I'm just lowering them in the meantime. So the more and more you practice, the better you will get. And it's honestly pretty fun, for me at least. And now we can turn this to green, multicolor, and then group these together. And now you have a nice dynamite battle blade. This is very simple, not super detailed but it is still pretty good pretty decent for first design obviously it's not my first but if this were to be your first then i say it's pretty good so let's just compare it to some of my first designs so this was actually my first design and as you can see it's not super detailed and i use the scribble tool for this so it's super rigid on the size here but overall it's pretty pretty decent if we go here click on here tinker this um you can see it's much more detailed and much better and this is just coming from my experience so yeah and let's say you want to download this now you just click on the file you want to download, click download. If you if your object is multicolor or you want it a certain color, I recommend downloading it as OBJ file. But if it's not, it's just simple. You just don't care about the color of it. Uh, you download it as an STL. Now, I mostly download it as an STL because it's just much simpler. It's much faster for me, at least. So yeah. I will probably do a part two on this video doing a design on the core and some more complicated stuff on Tinkercad. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like and subscribe and I'll leave a link to the templates on Tinkercad in the description below.